welcome to my garden journey and it's spring. Here in the East of England it's been pretty damp and we've had higher than average rainfall, lower than average temperatures, but we've had a fair amount of sunlight. But saying that, we've had some things that have done really well and some things that are not doing so great. So I think I'll take you through those today. So to start with, we've got some great news and that's to say that we are trying out growing our own meat chickens and we've got some chicks which have been absolutely gorgeous. So if you followed me on Facebook, you would have seen us get them and seen how they're going over the last couple of weeks. But I'll just quickly take you over there and I'll show you them right now. So our chicks are Hubbards and they're broilers, so they're being raised for meat and we are expecting to be able to cull them in around about, i say another 12 weeks, so it takes about 15 weeks to get them up to maturity. And it's the first time we're doing it, so we're only doing 10 this time and we're just gonna see how it goes. And the reason we're doing this is because we really wanted to make sure that the meat we're eating has had a good life and you never know when it's been in a supermarket, it might have a red tractor on it or some other sign saying it's a, you know, ethically grown chicken but you just don't know so this way at least I've seen them I've seen how they've been raised and hopefully I can uh, eat them and feel reasonably good about that chickens that lay our eggs are doing great as well and we're getting around about four to five eggs a day from them so more than we need and I'm starting to sell some of those around where I live at the moment which is really really nice so helps with a bit of the feed but also we get our own fresh eggs here at home some things that aren't doing so well and mainly that's been happening here in the greenhouse. I had a lot of high hopes for the amount of seeds that I'll be sowing and all the seedlings I'd have but I've had a number of issues mainly driven by dampness and possibly even a lack of heat as well. So germination rates have been really really low and I'm on the second sowing on most of the different plants that I'm trying to grow. So that's been really frustrating and I'm trying to find what the source is for this and I have a feeling it's the compost. Last year I shifted over to peat-free compost and that is great for many things but I'm not really sure whether it's good enough for growing my seeds. So I've been growing them or sowing them straight into that compost and I think it's holding on to too much moisture and those seeds are rotting whilst they're waiting to germinate and grow. And I'm also having a lot of problems with dampening off. So I water them, water them nice and thoroughly and that moisture just doesn't go away and I think it's holding too close to the plants and seedlings. So to try and combat that for this next sowing that I'm doing at the moment, I'm sieving all of the peat-free compost so I'm getting a finer till with those and also starting to use some vermiculite um, and other additives to try and help with drainage and with more appropriate moisture retention. So I'll see how those go and I'll let you know, see if I've got a better germination rate this time round. Unfortunately that does mean that for my tomatoes which really haven't germinated well this year at all I've had to buy some and I've got some above me at the moment so I'm going to have to go through that shop bought plant which is a real shame because I like to do them from seed but time's getting on and I really need those tomatoes. So recently I've managed to get down to my allotment and the weather again was putting me off going down there because it's been raining so much and it's not particularly great to dig over that horrible dense and wet soil in an allotment. I need to turn it over because I need to get rid of some of those perennial weeds that have grown up in there. So I'm trying to turn it over, get rid of those and at the same time just gives a chance to grow something this year. But in future years I want to move on to a no dig approach. So that should hopefully reduce the amount of work I have to do down there. So that means again, a little bit behind down the allotment, but getting on top of that as we speak at the moment. I did manage to plant some seed potatoes when I got down the allotment. I dug a trench around about four inches deep and spaced the seed potatoes out around a foot each. Covered them over and hopefully they should be coming up in the next few weeks. I 
else that's going well at the moment is my kitchen garden and I'm really pleased to say that going a no dig approach to this and covering it over with around about two inches of compost has kept those weeds at bay other than a few and I've been able to sow directly into it and the things I've sown directly into my kitchen garden are germinating really well which brings me back to why I think the issue in the greenhouse has been the compost. So looking forward to using that a little bit more now that the weather is improving and we should be away from the frost. So as we're moving into the later weeks of April, I'm starting to think about sowing a good crop of lettuce and, and other salads ready for the summer months. I've had some that I've had around since winter and they're starting to look a little bit old now and I've taken leaves from around the sides of them. So they need to be replenished. I'm looking to replenish those with different varieties. Some of those varieties will be lettuce heads where you take the whole head and others will be cut and come again varieties. I'm in the process of transplanting my spinach from the greenhouse where I overwintered it into my kitchen garden. And this is a perpetual variety and that means that I can cut it back and it will keep growing so I get some fresh new leaves as long as I continue to cut it back into the autumn. So hopefully that's been a really good investment in time and these should keep me going for the remainder of this season. I'd hope this year that I'd be growing as many of my flowers as I possibly could and it started off well and I had loads and loads of flowers such as asters and lupins and whilst I've still got some lupins left my asters have done really poorly since transplanting them into bigger pots and this is because I gave them a really good water when I transplanted them across and then it was damp for days afterwards. There was very high humidity and they just sat in damp soil and I think again the compost was part of the problem and it's a really good example of dampening off where the stem starts to rot. So unfortunately it looks like I've lost 100% of those asters and I might try and do a re-sowing and see if I can get some in uh, before it's too late. So there's a quick update of how things are going in my garden and I hope you're having a slightly better time than me. If you've got any tips for me or for anyone else who watches this channel, please leave a comment below and share your ideas. This is all about learning and as you'll know from gardening, you do some things and they go well, other times they, the same thing may not even work. So, you know, it's a lot of trial and error in what we do here. So if you've enjoyed this, please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.